Alright, welcome everybody to second showcase race. And today we have another excellent game. It is going to be Diddy Kong Racing, and the category that we are going to be racing today is going to be 100%. So you'll get to see all your favorite Diddy Kong Racing levels done very quickly by some pretty cool people. So I'm pretty excited. If you are excited about the Diddy Kong Showcase Race, I want you to spam Skeleton Bill right now. Your favorite Skeleton Bill meme. And I can see, I can see, uh, Tofu's excited about this excellent game. Awesome to see. Alright, today we have a special guest with us, our guest commentator for the game. Um, none other than C Fox 7 How's it going, C Fox? How are you doing today? Going pretty good. Are you excited for this showcase race? I am extremely excited. Excellent, excellent. I'm, I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited... You're excited. The chat is excited. Everyone's excited except Tofu, it looks like. So let's get this going. Uh, starting off with... Uh, so first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself, Fox. A lot of you, a lot of people will know that you are the Donkey Kong 64 guy, but you do play Diddy Kong as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Yep. Um, I think, I want to say a year ago, I was really into it. Um... It was back when the community wasn't very big. There were maybe five people who really ran the game. And I was up there, and then I quit for about a year. And then all of a sudden, of course, everyone decides to play. And it's a really fun game. It's pretty intense once you get down there. So, yeah, I've been I've been doing a little bit recently, coming back to it, seeing how I like it. And it's a fun game. Excellent. Good to hear. Good to hear. All righty. Give me a second Alrighty, so let's let's do some introducing. We've got again, uh, Cvox will be commentating with me today. Um, we also have Rainbowism in the back doing all the production work like normal, carrying the team right now. Uh, thanks again, Rainbowism, for everybody. Give a shout out to Rainbowism for doing the bulk production on this. Um, again, doing a lot of the bat behind the scenes stuff that makes this a reality. So thank you, Rainbowism, for that. Um, but let's first of all let's take a look at. The racers, and the first one we're going to discuss today is the the uncontested champion at the moment, and pretty much all the the uh, legitimate Diddy Kong racing categories is Tofu. So, uh, what are your thoughts on Tofu today? What are, how do you think he's going to perform? You think he has he's a, is a little rusty. He's been playing a lot of Super Mario sixty four and some other games. I heard he quit Diddy Kong racing. There's a rumor on the street that that Tofu. <laughs> Quit Diddy Kong Racing, according to Stream Monsters. Do you, you know anything about this? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I haven't seen him do it in a while, but I think he's at the point where it, there's not much to improve. So I wouldn't doubt it if he quit. <laughs> this game can be brutal sometimes, but I don't know. I still think... I don't know. I saw Ox do a run today. He got a 208 with a no reset. So I think it's going to be a really close race between him and Ox, unless... Tofu's been doing some secret uh, off-stream practice, the Dirty Practicer. Oh man, I would believe it. I would believe it. He is the Dirty Practicer. Speaking I... of Ox was, he is a Japanese runner. Him and, and Tofu, back in the day when Ox was still playing this game, they used to go back and forth a lot. Um, like Ox would take the world record and then Tofu would learn it and, and beat it. and then A lot of back and forth and then Ox kind of took a break from this game, but has actually been practicing a little bit uh, for the showcase race, and like you were saying before, he got to be beat today. You think Ox could potentially pull off the upset? I think it's anyone's game. I mean, a number of things can go wrong. Um, not so much at the higher level, but I've, I mean, personally, I've definitely had some races where, oh, whoops, I forgot a silver coin, and there goes two minutes. So like, anything can happen, and. I don't know. It's going to be very close, I think, between Tofu and Ox, and then there are others that are right behind them. So All I think right. it's going to be a really exciting race. Excellent. And uh, speaking of others, we've got um, two other racers that are going to be featured today. We've got uh, Shadow Chief, Shadow X Chief, and Stacy Needham. And uh, Stacy Needham, the video that you guys are watching right now, 
I couldn't find a run by Tofu, so I found one by Stacy Needham. And uh, Stacy is, I believe, let me bring up these the, the leaderboards. Is third with a two thirteen fifty five, and then Shadow's not too far behind with a two fourteen fifty five. Um, a few minutes behind Tofu and Ox was, but this could be a potentially good race to see if either of these could get third place. Like I feel like these two could be going back and forth for third place very easily. Yeah. And potentially upset one of the top two racers. Uh, especially with a game like this. I mean, if you know the format, it's uh, you do each race three times. I think, yeah, three times. So it's really all about consistency and how well you are doing well on a course over and over again. And it's amazing how much, like, you save two seconds on a course and then that adds up to six because you're doing it three times. So it's really just down to who's going to be the most consistent. Yeah, I I would agree with that. And this is, I feel like, perfect because we have the showcase race, and this is a racing game. So this is these two are these two go together like he's in a pod. And I'm I'm really excited to uh, showcase this game today. We've got, again show some uh, really good racers. You obviously have Toful and Oxbus, but again, you have Stacy and Shadow who are not that far behind in terms of I mean time. This is a long, you know, it's a plus two hour game. There's a lot of opportunities for players to make mistakes. So, again, this is anyone's game today, and I'm pretty excited. So, uh, um, before I move on, I just want to let everybody know, we all, uh, this is going to be something that's going to happen on a consistent basis pretty much every time we do the showcase race. Um, but we're, giving, we're doing a giveaway, a Twitter giveaway. It's really easy to enter. All you have to do is take this tweet that I'm about to paste into the chat, and all you have to do is retweet it. It's that simple. It's that easy. You take that tweet, you retweet it, you tell all your friends, and you're automatically entered for a chance to win a free $10 Steam game um, that'll be sent from me. So if you'd like to win free things uh, and you don't like doing much work to win them, just hit that button, retweet, and you're, you're good to go. Alrighty. So, give me a second here. And we'll announce the winner of that either by the end of the stream today or I will announce it on my Twitter account. Um, so be looking out for that today. Again, I'll you can retweet that up until the end of the stream, but get a jump on it right now. And uh, good luck to everybody who's entering for the prize. All right, so you know, 100% is kind of category. If you think of one that's really glitchy, any percent is kind of like the, the glitchy category in this game. You can skip a lot of things. You can do trophies. You can do clips. But 100% has a couple tricks in its own as well. Um, one of the ones, if you look at this video right now, you'll see... Hold on a second. Uh, there's an out-of-bounds trick on this on this level, correct? Yes. It's, uh, it's not done in this particular video. but We do have, I believe we have the video, Rainbowism. If you want to bring that one up right now. And you can go out of bounds. Oh, here we go. All right. So explain to me, first of all, this is, again, an, an IL video. Explain to me yeah. why they're using not they're not using TT right now. Oh, um, the reason for not using TT is drumstick is actually faster, um, but only in the plane. And that's the only reason we use them for all the, pretty much all the plane world records. You'll see that they're using drumstick. Um... So as you can see here, like the screen, uh, he's clipping out of bounds. He's going out of bounds to save time in this level, correct? So he's just yeah. Maybe going you, out um, of bounds you do a barrel level. roll. You go down, and you can actually do a barrel roll underneath, like the edges. You go into the lava, and you go underneath this wall. And then once you're underneath the wall, you're out of bounds. And then once you're out of bounds, you'll see that he's not just like going in a circle around the finish line. There's certain, uh, you can call them checkpoints or triggers, are along the course. That you have to hit and then each time you hit one of those checkpoints it like says like okay you're at this point of the map and then you're at this point of the map so now it knows that you're going around the lap and it's very easy to mess up if you mess it up you'll know it right away it'll say that you're going the wrong way even though you just cross the finish line again and it won't count as a lap so i believe that one saves about seven seconds it's it's definitely really tricky i, I spent a good uh two hours trying to learn it and I couldn't get it down. So it's definitely a really cool trick. 
and uh, it's really fun to watch that done well because you just you see them barrel rolling and barrel rolling a lot, um, linking them together. Definitely, it makes you go faster overall in the plane, and it's very hard to control because you have no control over the plane when you're barrel rolling. So it's very fun to watch them do that. And if they do mess it up, I mean, you said it's a whole lap that could go down the drain. Like, how yeah, much time could whole... you potentially lose? Um, you can lose an entire lap, but in order to fix it, I'm pretty sure you have to go back in bounds and then complete the lap again. So it's like doing a lap twice. So it can be pretty bad. This was why um, you'll see in the video right now, like, it's not done because it, it is very hard to pull off well. And it only saves seven seconds, so if you if you mess it up, if you don't do it optimally, you're not going to save those seven seconds, and it's very easy to actually lose time doing the shortcut. Understandable. All right, so we've got another we've got another uh, glitch coming up here again with the plane. Um, on the it's I believe it's oh wait no is it with the plane or the the second clip on yeah yes okay. yes this is with the plane and this is <laughs> done a lot faster than you'll see in the actual race usually in the race what they'll do is they'll go up and then use a boost to get out but this is again an IL so they go all out <laughs> it's a very fun trick it works uh, a bit differently than hot top volcano there's no barrel rolling out of bounds to get it to work it's um you're actually going above a little, I don't know what to call it, just an object that sticks out, and there's no hit detection on the top of the object. So you go up and then kind of fly down the object, and then you can get out of bounds that way. You see it right here. Yeah. So he just dips in, and he's, he just and he's dips out of bounds. In and he does it so fast. What you'll see them doing is going very slow, turning just falling into it then using a boost to get out so that they don't fall back in bounds. And now this is, again, you can look at the map. They use the map as kind of a reference. And they'll just follow and try to hit certain checkpoints along the map. And then you'll see, oh, all of a sudden he's on the final lap. <laughs> and he's just skipping huge parts of it. I believe this one is actually much more significant. It's also much harder to get out of bounds but it's easier to execute. So like once you're out of bounds, it's easy. And I think it saves 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Okay, that's that yeah. actually a big chunk of time. 20 seconds, yeah. you know. Yeah. A lot of and I say think... 7 seconds and Hot Top Volcano doesn't seem like much, but if you do it perfectly all three times, that's 21 seconds. And this okay. one is a full minute. Okay, so you weren't even you weren't even talking about just the whole, just the, the yeah. race itself. It's each lap is 7 seconds yeah. time. And that, yeah, like, about, yeah. A minute is a huge amount of time. Yeah, this speed it's run. giant. This is a recently found. I believe Toffle used it in his world record video. And plus, it's just so funny to watch. You just see objects popping up while they're barrel rolling in space. All right, and uh, so if we can go back to the main video that we had. Uh, quick. I just want to start pointing out some of just like the talking about, you know, you have like some of the clips, but a lot of, especially with a racing game, it's a lot of mechanics. Um, a lot of just rhythm and being able to uh, just move through each level with, you know, good rhythm and good mechanics. Just going back to the video real quick, it, a lot of what you'll be seeing is just, okay, we've got some solid battle video going on here uh this this is i think by far the most luck based mini game and this is actually another reason that there's no like clear winner there's a lot of rng for this and it can be done extremely fast but it can also take minutes like me <laughs> it takes me forever so they have Very to complete hard. all four of these mini games then to unlock yes. for 100 percent correct Yes, that's what's different than any percent. In any percent, there's a trick called a TT stomp. Wow, look at these drifts. Um, there's a trick called a TT stomp. We actually use the TT in the lobby to essentially smack you out of bounds. That's what he actually does. And it gets you past the door. Like, you fly and you can navigate while flying out of bounds in the car past the door. And that skips all the mini games. But in 100%, you have to get them all. And they're okay. very... Yeah, the first one is slightly luck-based, but usually you're okay. The second one is that one you just saw, which is 
the most like based one. Uh, third one is the water level, which usually isn't that bad. It's more about how quickly you can get um, homing ammo. And the last one is completely skill based with maybe a little bit of luck if you get shot once. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember just playing through these as a kid. I always had fun playing in the mini games. Like I yeah, felt like the battle system, battle maps, and Diddy Kong Racing were much better than Mario Kart Racing. I mean, I'm a little biased. Like I really like Diddy Kong <laughs> Racing. I feel like it's a better game, but uh, yeah, I most had a people lot more fun. think this is the better game. A lot of people actually like the Mario Kart uh, battle is better, but that's probably pretty much how I feel. Like th this game was definitely a lot of fun. A good game, and it's really fun watching them. Because you can just look at what he's doing, man. He's drifting everywhere, and he's just flying, and it's so fun to watch. And you'll see a lot of just the extra speed boosting as well, with the just you know hitting hitting the top boost on every single one of those, and just drifting around to do so. Alrighty. Um. So while we're waiting, we've got a few minutes. Um. Now that we've covered the tricks to look out for, let's make some predictions. Uh, I'll let you go first, and then I'll, I'll jump in on how I think the top four are going to look. Alright, I'll be first, sorry. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, it's going to be very close between Tofu and Ox, I feel. But I think I'm going to have to lean towards Tofu. Just because... Well, I mean, both of them have been playing this game. They've been essentially speedrunning it for about seven years now. <laughs> they started doing individual laps, and then it grew into speedrunning and started doing full categories. And I think Tofel playing as much as he has, maybe not recently, but since Ox quit, I think that's going to help him win. And then after him, followed by Ox. And then uh, I actually don't know Stacy and Salt Cured that well. So it's hard for me to say, but I guess I'm just following the leaderboard. I'm going to say Stacy then Shadow. But again, that's only a minute difference between TVs, and that could be very close as well. All right, so for my predictions, I, I went really... Last time, Tofu burned me hard. I, uh, <laughs> I had picked him to do well in the last showcase race, the Super Mario Sunshine showcase race, and he underperformed, to say the least. Oh, wow. Um so I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to I'm going to take the upset and I'm going to say uh Ox was going to take first place in this race today and uh shock everybody. Tofel's going to it's going to be close. But I think Tofel will take second. So Tofel prove me wrong today. Show me your stuff. And uh and then I'm going to say I'm going to say Shadow's going to squeak out for third barely beating uh, Stacy, and then Stacy's going to take fourth. So yeah, those are my predictions. While we're waiting for everybody, uh, we've got a couple, few minutes. We're, we're not going to start exactly at 1 o'clock or 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, let's get some questions from the chat. So you can ask anything that you want, as long as it's appropriate about myself, C Fox, Diddy Kong Racing, the Showcase Race, um, I, I mean, gameplay questions. If you have a question about gameplay in Diddy Kong Racing, you know, feel free to ask it. All right, so someone just asked a really important question. What is the showcase race? If this is your first time in the channel... Uh, <laughs> God, rainbow or something. If this is the first time um, ever being in the showcase race, what we do here at the showcase race is we take the top four racers... Um, Top four racers are being showcased on the Twitch channel. Uh, Rainbowism, if you can do a quick preview of what the race overlay is going to look like so that uh, some of our guests can see what it's going to look like once we transfer over to the actual showcase race. And as you can see here, there's four different uh, channels on there, and you'll see the names under each one. Those four racers plus everybody else that's being not restreamed Enter the race at speedrunslive.com. Um, free to enter as long as you, you have to stream it in order to get in. What will happen is the top four racers will get a pri will split up a prize pool decided by you, the viewer. So if you'd like to donate um, and you want to showcase your love for these racers um, and for how, how, how hard they worked, 
Um, I'm going to post a link in the chat right now, and you can also click on the donate button on my channel. That'll go straight. This will just do a pitch in box just for the showcase race. You click on that, you can donate and leave a comment uh, in the PayPal. It'll say, like, leave a note, and then I'll read your comment on the stream today. And all the money will be divided up amongst the runners as well as the guest commentator today. So none of that will be going to me or anything like that. It'll just be going to the guest commentator and the four runners. So the four runners are competing for some decent sized cash prizes. So it should be pretty uh, exciting today. Uh, but yeah, this happens twice a month, um, usually the second and fourth Saturday of every month. Um, and we'll be having another game. We've already got. October all planned out, so we'll be announcing the games at the end of the uh, the race today. But yeah, but that's what the showcase race. Any other what, what other questions we got going on today? Someone asked streamer, why does everyone use the clock? Do you want to answer that one, C Fox? Yeah, sure. Uh, the clock is by far the fastest overall. Um, like I said earlier, his plane is actually beaten by drumstick, but only by a little bit. But other than that, his hovercraft, his car, and everything is much, much faster than anyone else. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Second is uh, probably Banjo. So you, you'll probably, the old 100% used to use Banjo, but the definition was changed so that it could be technically New Game Plus, and that's that's the only way you can use TT is if you've unlocked them in the past. All right. Uh, next race, next month's showcase race is not Duke Nukem 3D. I'm sorry, Silos. I apologize. Uh, are there any chances of getting soft locked while attempting strats? Um, I guess. Maybe. I've, I don't know if anyone's ever had that happen to them, but in the Hot Top Volcano, uh, there is, well, if you're familiar with this game in, in like uh, any percent, there is a wrong warp in Hot Top Volcano on 1.1. 1. 1. Um, so if you're not using 1.1 1. 1, and you're using, I guess, just 1.0 is the only other option. I can't remember if there's a 1.2. But you can hit the loading zone. There's a loading zone under the. Um, the Hot Top Volcano finish line. And it's possible, I guess, if you're really, really not careful and unlucky, you could hit the loading zone while flying out of bounds in Hot Top Volcano, and you hit the loading zone while trying to complete the race. You could lock, soft lock the game. I don't even know. It, it might be considered a crash more than a soft lock, but you hit the loading zone. You'll if it ever happens, you'll see it. The like, the screen will just fade out and turn black and die. And again, that's because 1.0 can't wrong warp, but 1.1 can. So if you try to do it on 1.1, it just locks the game. That's like the only thing that could happen, and I've never seen anyone do it by accident because it's hard to do on purpose. It's a very small loading zone. You say that now, man. You say that now, but next thing you know... <laughs> Showcase luck. <laughs> uh, we're going to be starting in about a couple minutes. I'm still waiting for people to dot ready up. So keep the questions coming. What is the gameplay difference between Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart? That's a pretty good question. Yeah. You want to take okay. that one? Um... I would say the turning. The turning and the drifting is a pretty big difference. Um, also, I mean, you have like, you know how the items work in Mario Kart. There's many, many items and they're all luck based. Whereas this game, it's the balloons are set and they're going to give you the same thing each time. So, obviously, in a speedrun, you just want to hit the boosts. You don't care about hitting other enemies. So, you're just going to sit there and grab the boost as much as you can. So, each lap is. Pretty similar, minus some bananas, but we'll go into that later. Okay. Um, then, let's see, the drifting is a big thing. If you remember in Mario Kart, uh, you can drift and like wiggle the joystick back and forth, and that builds up your E boost. I think that's what it's called. That's what I always called it. 
where the little E's pop out, you turn them orange and then you get a little speed boost. Drifting, in general, will make you go faster in a car. So if you sit there and you drift on turns, like there's definitely some exceptions that get pretty technical. This game is a lot more technical than it looks. Um, but I would say the turning and the controls are a pretty big difference between Mario Kart and Diddy Kong. All right, any other questions that we got going? People are starting to dot ready. We're very close to starting this race. Just a few more minutes. Again, I'm just going to do a quick reminder. Um, we have a Twitter contest going. It's very simple. All you have to do is hit that retweet button, right? Going there. Retweet that Twitter status. Send it to all your friends, and uh, you will be entered to win a $10 Steam game. It's pretty cool. So hit that retweet button. The easiest contest you've ever entered in your whole life, and you're good to go for that race, or for that prize. Assuming you have a Steam account, that is. All right. How do you get a beard as awesome as mine? You don't shave for a long time. Simple truths. And you eat a lot of vegetables. Helps the beard grow. See, if you want an actual cool beer, beard, <laughs> beer, you don't eat vegetables at all. And that's how you get this this beauty. Do we have I just realized this is like the beard cams going on. We both have some some nice beards going on today. We're we're working hard here with our beards. <laughs> when is the DKRDS race, Axwas? That's a good question. <laughs> Alright, we've got one more person that we're waiting to enter. And it's Oxwas. Once Ox is ready to go, I think we will start. You want to do a quick refresh of the streams, Rainbow, and make sure that we've got it all good to go? Okay. All right, let me just get my multi Twitch here. And we'll be using game audio from Oxwas. Do a quick refresh on my end of things as well. Oh, frick, I just realized that might start a bunch of ads. Please don't start up a bunch of ads. And we'll be using game audio from... He's too busy trolling chat. Alrighty. My ox was just readied up. So I think we are going to start. If you Before we start, I need to know. Alright, so one last thing. I need you to all spam. If you are excited and pumped for this showcase race, be sure to spam Try Hex's face right now in the chat. I'd like to see a ton of Try Hex's face in the chat right now. So if you are excited about the showcase race, let's see some the Try Hard spam. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Remember, everybody, if you'd like to donate, again, all of the donations are going to the runners and the commentator today, the guest commentator. Uh, so uh, uh, donations are appreciated. Um, let's show these these racers how that you appreciate their hard work and, and that they've been putting in this game. Just click on that link to donate, and your comment will be read on the stream. Otherwise, what you can do is you can click the donate button um, in my channel information. Um, just put in the mon amount of money that you want. Um, the comment will be after you put the money in. You can it'll say add note. Click on add note to have a, a comment on there. And again, all the money will be, be going to the racers as well as the guest commentator. All right, I'd like to see I'd like to see at least a hundred dollars for prize pool for these these awesome racers. All right, let's let's all guarantee them at least a subway five dollar foot long in the very least. <laughs> How's that sound? Those pie bucks going. I hope Fash wins. I hope Fash wins too. All right. Without further ado, I think we're gonna go. Are you ready, Rainbowism? Uh, 
Uh, the the price pool is going to be cut 60, 25, 10, 5. So, first place gets 60%, second place gets 25%, third gets 10, fourth gets 5%. Um, Rainbowism has yet to respond. Are you alive, Rainbowism? Are we ready? Alright. Alrighty, I'm going to dot on ready. Here we go. And the countdown begins. What the frick? This spot is being bad. Shoutouts to race spot. Oh, what am I doing? I'm bad. There we go. I'm bad. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Ten seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and go. Alright, so the showcase race number two has begun. Diddy Kong Racing, everybody. Sit back, grab some of your favorite snack, and uh, here we go. Stacy with that cheat code on. And Ox is singing. <laughs> oh man. What, what more can he ask for? <laughs> so off the start, you'll see how like the text looks different. That's because Japanese versus English. There's no version differences between Japanese and English as long as they're the same version of the game. They just, you know, little text differences and style differences, but it's all the same. There's no text speed in this game, so it's completely identical. <laughs> I gotta hear this. Let's see. You keep singing. <laughs> uh, all right. As you can see, Skeleton Bill is riding on the magic carpet right now. Oh man, I'm so hyped. Alright, first thing off the back they're going to do <laughs> is uh, turn into the plane. <laughs> Don't fool. <laughs> Don't fool. Showing why he's the fan favorite right now. <laughs> Showing that dog face and skeleton bill. Now, throughout the game, there's random balloons that you can pick up. Are, are they going to get those all at the same time? Um, I, I think it's... A little bit of preference. You'll see Tofu is getting them all, but Stacy oh, is one. not. Oh, he missed it. Yeah, that one's. This is another um, kind of luck part because you don't know how the balloon's gonna sway. Oh wow. Oh man, Tofu. Tofu choking already. He's missed the balloon two times. This is the third time's a charm, and he finally gets it. <laughs> <Dope. laughs> all right. Well, Stacy's in. That's because he didn't get one of the balloons. He's gonna get it, I'm assuming, during the uh, plane beanie race. Um, so you'll see what they just did there. As soon as you start a race, with the exception of Whale Bay and Snowball Valley, because of the lag and the time it takes, like the first time you enter, if you've ever seen Super Monkey Ball, it's the same idea where you restart the race right away so that you skip that little intro where it's showing you like the, f the starting line. That only works the first time you've entered this course. Okay. This is one of my favorite courses to watch, especially Tofu, because he just destroys it. Tofu and Ox. And one of the things you'll notice is that you know, the AI you is not a rubber band. Like a lot, one of the things in Mario Kart, someone, you know, the AI rubber bands pretty hard. In this game, you'll see that there's no rubber banding whatsoever. So he'll be passing up the racers as well as passing them up multiple times in some in instances. Yeah. So you see what Ox did, it just did. It looks like he just gained a huge amount of time. But um, what you can do is if you pause, I think it's the frame you cross the finish line. You see how like the first popped up, but he's still at control. If you return the lobby, it still gives you the balloon. And that allows you to skip the, this long cutscene where the genie talks to you and gives you your first balloon. But as soon as you miss that trick, you're going to have to see him anyway. 
So for now, he skipped the cutscene, but it's more of a delay. Because eventually, odds are he's going to mess it up once, and then he'll have to watch that cutscene, and then everybody else will catch up. Now, they're collecting bananas here. Can you explain a little bit about how the bananas work and why they're collecting them? Sure. Um, well, each banana gives you a little speed boost up to a maximum of 10. So, for the most part, what you want to do is, at the very beginning of the race, get as many as you can, so that you can go at a higher speed for longer. So, that's why you'll see them, like, try to get 10 either in the first lap or the second lap, and then not worry about them after 10. But they will, like, sometimes out. get 11. Yeah. So you can't just keep, you can't get, like, a thousand bananas and just, no. like race around at ridiculous speeds. Yeah, and there are some courses where they won't get 10, but that's just because the bananas are so far out of the way that it's not worth it. Even though they will make you go a little faster, but you waste too much time getting them. <laughs> One of the things that, again, I say this a lot about Rare games, but the music is so good. Like, yeah, it's so catchy is. and, you know, I feel like say this a lot, but you know, when you speedrun a game, I think music has a really big part of it. You can love the gameplay of the game, but if the music's really annoying, it could really deter you from from speed gaming, at least for some people. I know some people, they don't don't mind too much. They just put headphones on and they play, but at least for me, music is a big deal. Yeah. Alright, so right now it looks like we've got... Ox is in first place. Ox and is doing everybody a good job of playing that cutscene, hitting that pause. It's not an easy trick. Like I said, it's like a frame. But you cross the finish line and then you pause. Tofel just got it too. So Tofel's in second right now. And it looks like Shadow and and Stacey are literally like on this they're on the same lap. Really close to each other. This is kind of how we thought it was going to be. All right, yep. so the out of bounds is happening. Right yeah, now. that just happened. <laughs> Not an easy trick. Both of them get it first try. Yep. Now they switch to the map, so they get the little reference. There's like a few triggers. There's like little hints, like when the little arrows pop up, that's when you're supposed to turn. And as soon as you cross the lap, then you turn around. Very cool stuff. I don't know if Stacy and Shadow are gonna try it, but we'll see. Oh, it looks like Shadow's going for it. Very cool. So Shadow uh -oh. gets it. Saw the wrong way on oh, there. Oh, you got the wrong way. Yeah. Okay, I guess. Ooh. Oh no, Ox is having trouble. Yeah, that's what I mean. You gotta make sure you hit these triggers, or it's it's pretty bad <laughs> catching it back up. So you have to do the so, lap again, but you can do the lap out of bounds again, so it's not extremely bad. But like that's what I mean. Like anything can happen. Like, all of a sudden, Tofu's back in the lead. I have a feeling we'll be seeing, like you said, we'll be seeing that a lot. Where you know, Ox is a little rusty, so some of these clips might be yeah. You know, it might show a little bit, but again, we've got a lot of racing to go, and they're going to be playing these levels over again, except with the silver coins. You want to explain, just for someone who maybe has never played Diddy Kong Racing, you know, after you beat it, you know, take first place in all the races, then you got to get the coins. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, and the coins are, you'll see, I guess Hot Top Volcano is you actually don't go out of bounds three times because. The silver coins are later on in the course, and obviously you can't get them from out of bounds, so you have to actually do the course to get the coins. But what you can do is if you get all the coins in like the first, I think it's not possible in the first lap, so in the first two laps, then you can go out of bounds on the third lap and save a little bit of time. Not much, but it is it is a little bit, I think. So they're doing the little boss race right now. Yeah, and this is where you can really see. It's always fun watching this course done well, because you just see them. It's a giant circle, so they can drift the entire way up. <laughs> so, yeah, it is one in, just one yeah. long drift. 
As it, once you get to the actual spiral, when you first start off, there's a lot of straightaways because it it's such a big circle, but once it gets to the end, they're just drifting all the way up. You saw, and you'll see them you... take that shortcut. They don't take the shortcut the second time because you don't get one of the boosts don't spawn. That's usually how the bosses work. The second time around, the boss is faster and less of the blue balloons spawn. Alright, so, so it looks like Ox fell behind a little bit and Shadow's right now in second place. So we've got Toeful in first, Shadow in second, Ox in third, and then we've got Stacy coming up in fourth. So again, Shadow's playing pretty well, keeping up not too far behind uh, yep. Ox and, and Toeful right now. Alright, so here is the first pretty big RNG, the first minigame. It is possible to get completely screwed over, however, I mean, I've had pretty good luck with it recently, but it, anything can happen, you can definitely, yeah, you'll see Tilfo getting that homing ammo, because he doesn't trust them, so he's probably going to drop off the third egg. If you don't know how this minigame works, is um, you get an egg, you have to get first three eggs wins, but first, the eggs have to hatch, so you have to drop the eggs off, hope that none of the AI steals your egg and he's stealing them from other people because only a certain amount of eggs are on the map at a time so now he's probably gonna drop this off and just camp it with the homing ammo and make sure nobody grabs it it looks like he's good though i don't see anyone nearby him so he should be okay yep ox almost got his egg stolen that has to be pretty frustrating when the AI does stuff like that. Oh yeah. Luckily it's not too far in, so usually it's a reset, but it's possible to be unlucky to the point where you actually lose the minigame. However, that's extremely unlikely. It looks like everyone's doing okay though, so far. Always nice to see no bad luck <laughs> in those mini games. Stacy with the clutch homing ammo, Tiptop was going for it. <laughs> <laughs> so now, I, obviously they're not going to be able to get all the silver coins um, in one time around for all of them, um, but are there some levels that they can get all, all yes. of them and in one fact, trip? And in just got all, oh no he's on the second lap. But for the most part it's actually, there's a lot of strategies for these because you want to get them, I guess, as quickly as possible. A lot of people like getting them right away, so you don't have to worry about them later on. There's no way you can get to the third lap, realize you missed it, and then have to turn all the way around and grab it. But you also want to get bananas as fast as possible, because remember, those top out your speed. So it's kind of a mixture of making sure you get some coins, but also getting the bananas you're supposed to get. So that you can do it really as fast as possible. But then it becomes it can become pretty risky if you're waiting till the last lap to get like four coins. One of the things you'll just see it looks like So Ox was taking second place back. Now some of them are doing these in a different order, it looks like. It looks like uh um, if you notice, it looks like uh Stacy actually, the one that he's on right now is the one that everybody else just did, and the one that yeah. he was on before was what Tofel did. So is there a specific time order to do these, um, or is it just preference? I think there is a specific order. He might have just messed up, but I don't, I'm not sure. Pretty much everyone, you'll see Tofel and Ox definitely use the same order. In terms of minigames, those are all... Oops, my mic muted itself. Those are always supposed to be done right after the first boss. You always do the minigame in every level right after the first boss just because that's the fastest travel time. Okay. I don't think like accidentally doing um, like Jungle Falls now doesn't really waste much time, if any. So it could be a preference, but I think optimally you'll see Tofu and Ox do the correct route. All right, we've got our first donation of today. Just a reminder, you can donate clicking on the donation link that I'm going to paste in the chat right now. Um, all the money is going to be going to the prize pool for the runners and the guest commentator. We've got a $2 donation from Travis, who I believe this is Sidewalk Chalk. 
Uh, so thank you for that two dollar donation. If you want to update the prize pool symbolism to two bucks, we've got two dollars in that prize pool. But yeah, let's see. Let's get that. Let's see that get that to a hundred dollars by the end of the race. That would be pretty sweet. So keep them coming, everybody. Um, I can take this time to talk about a little bit more of the mechanics. Like I, I explained drifting. At least I think I explained drifting. Sure. You can really look at the speedometer. I think pretty much everyone races with the speedometer because for the plane and the hovercraft, it's actually pretty important to know if you're going your max speed. But I'll explain those once they get to those vehicles. But for the car, um, obviously drifting, you can see the speedometer fly up when they drift. And there's also some subtle things that you don't really know, but they are tapping. I think the optimal rate is tapping A once every four frames. But obviously you can't like time out four frames, so it's mostly just a rhythm that you get used to and you're just tapping A. And that is like tapping the accelerator and it helps them go pretty significantly faster. Now in the plane, you'll see like the, um, the solid smoke streaks coming out of each side. That's because they're holding down R. Um, for whatever reason, holding down R is like drifting all the time, I guess. So you go faster and it's easier to turn and it holds your speed. It lets you keep your momentum through turns and through barrel rolls if you keep R held down. So you'll see that a lot. Uh, tapping A is weird in planes in that you only want to tap at your max speed. Which is why they need a speedometer so I can see like around that 60 to 90 range that's when they should be tapping A. And if their speed stops dropping they should be holding A instead. Because it's very hard to optimal, optimize it. Alright, so yep, Tofu is finished up that last race, and Ox is not too far behind him. And it looks like Battle's in third, and Stacy's in fourth. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. Shadow got all the coins really early, so now he just clipped out of bounds and did the last lap out of bounds to save a little bit of time. You were saying before that with the second boss fight, it, they go a little bit faster, and the less items to use yes. in the race as well, correct? Yep. So, I mean, it's kinda, you won't really notice it because they're going so fast. Especially at the dino guy, it's like you see him at the beginning and then he's just gone. The walrus is, you can tell at the start he's definitely faster. Along with it, the dragon is pretty significant. The octopus is very hard to pass, but once you pass him, even on the second go around, you're not going to see him again. And if you keep track of, like, it's mostly the speed boosts that go away. I don't know if any red ones go away. We usually don't care about the red ones, so we don't really look. Yes, there are other people in the race. There are a lot of other people, but we're just showcasing what we believe are going to be the top four so that you guys can see how well this game can be played. Yep, and you don't have to be restreamed in order to win. Or as long as you stream yourself, I mean, we can only afford people on the restream. But if you're streaming yourself and you take fourth place, um, you can still win the prize money. So it's not just to these four who can win. Anybody who enters can potentially win prizes. So. It's free entrance to anyone. As long as you have a speedruns live, you set up, do your set stream, speedruns live, and you're good to go. Yep. And there's definitely been some comebacks in the past where people weren't in the top four originally, <laughs> and then they ended up getting second. Cough, cough me. <laughs> a showcase race legend in our midst, everybody. <laughs> that was pretty great. So now. Yeah. They're going through these levels one more time in the trophy race. And there's no silver medals to collect, correct? No. And they're not exiting to lobby after each race, and that's because it would actually cancel out of the trophy race. Okay. No, you know, I, there isn't a huge variation in the items in DKR. You know, you've got your boost, no. you've got your attack, you've got your... Magnets, uh, shields, and things you drop. 
Now, are they going to be only really using the boost items, or will you see some other items coming into play? They're only going to be touching the boost. If they pick up anything else, it's by accident, or just because they're along the way, so they might as well pick them up. You're not supposed to drop them, but I always like dropping oil slicks, even though I end up hitting myself <laughs> on the next <laughs> lap anyway. It's just something about, I don't know, I, I feel like it was Mario Kart that just made me, if I have an item, I gotta use it. <laughs> I don't care if it's not a good idea. And, and then the I way, lose time later. The way that items work in this also is you can upgrade if you collect the same color. Yes. So they, you won't see them upgrading their boost. They're just going to use um, it as soon as they get it. Actually, okay. I think, well, uh, the single boost, it's faster to use two single boost than one double boost or triple boost. But there are some courses where the boost are in such quick su succession and... You only get a boost like on a turn. You don't actually want to use a boost while drifting because it actually slows you. It doesn't slow you down, but it, it's not as fast as you could go. So they'll save the boost for the next boost coming up and then use that double. But they never get triple boosts. Well, there's one part, the key. If you got, anybody remembers the key in the Dragon Forest where you have to go up the bridge backwards. Some people like get the triple boost just to like, make sure you get up that bridge and hit the key. But for the most part, double is the highest you're going to see. Alright, so Max is, is starting to fall a full race behind right now. The level that he just started on is Toeful just finished up on. So he just finished the trophy race. Oh, he's on the last level here. On last level, yep. So he's a full level behind. Yeah, and again, he'll clip by that bounce here. But as we've he doesn't seen, anything could happen on this one. Alright, I'm gonna jump in here. We got a couple donations coming in. We've got a a five dollar don't five dollar and two cent donation. I'm assuming this is from the 502 crew here, and it says, "I'm literally donating as I'm racing. It's like I'm not going to win or something." From Patrick. So a five dollar donation from Patrick, or five dollar and two cent donation, and then we also have a twenty dollar donation with no comment from Neil. So that should bring our total up to twenty-seven dollars and two cents. So we're about one fourth of the way to the, the initial goal. So thank you everybody who's donated so far. The racers will definitely appreciate your your kind donations. Alright, so Toful just finished up the trophy race. Yep. So now he will be and the reason you do the trophy races at the end is one of you finish a trophy race, it puts you right next to the exit. So he just has to turn around and leave. And again, that's to save some travel time. So now he'll face, he'll do the first genie race. And this is really, really funny. I love this race. Because again, it's a giant circle. <laughs> so he'll see him drift. And there's no speed boost here, it's just... No, there's no speed boost in the, <laughs> those races. Here you'll actually see him cut through the center. There's an area where if you go too far out of the racing, the genie will say, oh, you lost because you went too far away. But you can abuse it on the last lap and you'll see. Oh, there goes the genie again, he just passed yep. him. Just, just passed him up. I used to, when I, when I casually played this game back in the day, uh, I used to think you had to like actually touch the red flags in order to keep going. I didn't know they were just showcasing. Yeah, yeah, showcasing. same here. I used to do that too. See so see if you just cut through the center so that he can be right on the, the pad. Use the honk and get the genie back to switch to the plane. Alright, so they're going to the second region here. I think out of all the four, as far as music is concerned, this one's got my... I, I like. I really love the music from the second region, I think, the most. The music is good, I just, this is by far my least favorite place though. Even though the music's good, I just hate the courses, especially Frosty Village. It's brutal, but it's also the biggest area where resetting, like he just did, we're not resetting, but like restarting the race right there, saved like three seconds. Because of how much it lags at that starting. I believe it's because of the snow, and just because it's such a big area. Most of the time it saves like half a second or less, or maybe a second or two. But this is a big three second time save, just by restarting the race. And we'll update the total for the, the prize pool once our production guy comes back. He just went to go do something real quick. For anyone asking. 
music is so good, man. I love this music in this game. Uh, it's amazing. Like I do this game for like two weeks straight, and then I just watch Tofu, and it just looks like it almost looks like he's cheating to me, which you know, I know he's not. But he just goes so fast. He loses no momentum. He just goes. It's unbelievable. And that pause trick blows my mind, because I know how hard that is. It's a frame perfect trick, and they get it every lap. Yeah, they're doing it every single time. I mean, yeah. count it up, but it's like 12 each region. Or I should say, well, 8 each region. If you get you them all, the I trophy. believe it saves 2 to 3 minutes. It's definitely for each region, huge. or just for the whole game? For the whole game, if you do okay. it on every course. Yeah. And there's a subtle thing, if you notice there, this is Snowball Valley, so he didn't do the restart glitch, because it actually has a quick enough beginning that it's not worth the time. Yep, and they get that key there. For the m every place except for Sherbert Island, which is the water level, you don't restart the race, you just get the key and then keep going. But if you guys remember the key is in Sherbert Island, it's way out in the water and you're a car. So it takes a very long time to get out there and a very long time to get back. So you actually get it right away and then restart the race and then go. It keeps the key. Oh, <laughs> the air. And our standings have been um, pretty much the same. Toeful in first, Ox in second, Shadow in third, Stacy in fourth. Still got a lot of racing to go though, so... Pre-recorded. Oh man. <laughs> so I've got to ask you, C Fox, what out of the three uh, uh, vehicles, which one is your favorite? Which one is your least favorite, and why? <sighs> That's a hard question. I thought it was the hovercraft until I learned that I do not know how to drive the hovercraft at all. Tilful came in my stream one day and told me at least five things that I didn't know about it that made it incredibly dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I was losing like six seconds, ten seconds over him, and I had no idea why, and then he explained it how pretty much every boost is random. The drifting is incredibly hard to... because you'll, you'll see it in a bit, it's something called snaking, and it's just, it's incredibly dumb. <laughs> So I'd have to say the car is my favorite, but I still like the hovercraft more than the plane. I can't stand the plane. The plane is by far the hardest thing to get used to. Ox is extremely good in the plane. I know for a while he held every single individual level world record with the plane, but I think that's changed recently because of new, new out of bounds and new tricks. Oh, here's another little thing. You'll notice on Walrus Cove, the one that Tofu's on right now, for the big loop, for every loop in the game, I have no idea why, but if you hang to the right, you go faster. The right side of that loop, where it gives you the automatic boost, is the fastest way to go. Oh, and I don't know if I explained the barrel rolls. I might have. You can really see, if you look at the speedometer during a barrel roll, it's just maxed at 150 the whole time if they do it correctly. So whenever they get a chance to use that barrel roll, they're gonna yeah. take advantage of it. But you can't turn at all when you're using barrel roll. It's very easy to tap R too many times, and then if you're not holding a direction when you do a roll, you'll do a backflip, which wastes a ton of time. The plane is very annoying to control, especially if, if you're close, too close to the ground, you can't turn. Because the, the wings like can't turn into the ground, so you're just stuck. Uh, what happened to Stacy? Uh oh, I think his controller broke. Alright, so we've got a controller issue here. I think he's going to get a different one.
That is really unfortunate. So that's gonna cost them probably about 20 seconds. Uh, I think a lot more than that. It's gonna cost them the race, so he's gonna have to restart. Well, it's only first lap, he might be able to catch up. Alright, so we've got this epic comeback happening right now. A race within a race. Alright, he's in sixth. He's passing him up. He's in fifth. He's fourth. I think I he's going to be able to be pull okay. Off. Okay, that's good. That would have cost, well, like two minutes if you lose the race. Yeah, he'll be okay. So we quickly, quickly caught up there. Jeez. So able to, uh, we had some uh, technical difficulties with the controller, but was able to at least save redoing the level, which is pretty key. That's a lot of time down the drain if you would have had to redo it. Yeah. The clutch. clutch I, I always here. underestimate how fast TT really is. Like, oh no, he's in 8th by half a lap. Oh, wait, it took a 1 lap, now he's a lap ahead. Alright, so, Toeful just finished the race with the Walrus. Yes. Oh, Oswald okay. is starting it, so explain what's going on with this yes. Walrus. Alright, so you'll see, like, looking at Ox, like, you just see him, like, waving back and forth. This is referred to as snaking. It's like the car, where it's basically, you can drift the entire time. Like, that's all he's doing, he's drifting back and forth, back and forth. But for the hovercraft, you have enough control that you can drift and not, like, completely lose your speed coming out of the drift. Like, in a car, that wouldn't work at all. Because the drift is too, I don't know how to say it, uncontrollable. So you just see him, like, you'll notice this, especially in the next one, where you get all the water levels. You'll be in the hovercraft a lot. So he's just going to be drifting back and forth the whole time. And again, that's very hard to optimize. Oh, he's so full. This is the huge RNG one, but there is a strat. Let's see if he can pull it off. Alright, he got Bumpa. Oh. Looks like he's getting some good luck with Diddy. Rip Diddy Kong. Now oh, Crunch. Crunch can be dumb. It looks like, wow, I think he just got the god luck. Nice. Wow. That was pretty clean. That was very nice, yeah. Definitely could have been better, but for a race, it's extremely good. And now Ox's turn. Now, the, the AI that you're playing against in this minigame is random, right? It does it. Yes. Does it really matter which one you get? Uh, it doesn't matter which one you get now. Holy crap, though. Ox is, just did amazing. That was really fast. He, like, cruised through that. He made up some time there. It wasn't, Jeez. like, a huge amount, but he, he was... Definitely made up a good chunk of time. That was insane. <laughs> This stuff blows my mind. Like, when I do these, it takes me like two minutes and it takes them like 15, 20 seconds. I should learn these strats. <laughs> you can definitely manipulate them a bit, but there's a lot of RNG that's involved in which direction they go, but there is a higher likelihood of them going certain directions, depending on where you are. Shadow Chief, Shadow Chief looks like he's doing okay. Yeah, it looks like they didn't come up after him though, so that's not good. Yeah, this is not good. So he had to, he has to watch this whole thing again. He, he missed it, right? On that one? Huh? Oh. The Tofu missed the... It looked like he missed the... The time skip there. Oh. I, did, I wasn't really paying attention. Is that... Does he have to watch the entire cutscene or did he skip through it? I can't remember if he's missed one yet. He might have not missed one yet. So that was probably the first time he had to watch that whole cutscene. 
Yeah, because eventually you're going to have to watch that cutscene unless you get it every single time, which I'm pretty sure no one's ever done. But if you manage to do it, it would save so much time. By the way, shoutouts to 800 viewers. We're only about one-fourth of the way, and we've already got 800 people here. So thank you everybody for tuning in. That was a pretty cool strat of <laughs> using um, the bombs. Yeah, so this is how normal human beings do this. Unlike Tofu <laughs> and Ox. <laughs> so again, Ox is still about a full, full level behind. Full, even with yeah. the uh, time makeup on it's that mini It's hard game. to really tell because you know, some laps are a lot faster than that. Like, this course is actually pretty fast, so it's hard to like really gauge it until they're out. You can time it by like when they finish or when they do bosses, because that's when it's matched up. But like lap-wise, you can't like say, oh, he's two laps behind. And just as a friendly reminder, all donations that you are donating go, go straight to the runner as well as the commentator. The total is at $27.02. It'd be nice to see they get over 100. We've got plenty of time to get there. But if you want to donate, just click on the pitch and box link that the mods are posting right now in the chat. Very simple. Any amount is always welcome. Leave a comment by clicking add note. And uh, your donation comment will be read, and your donation is obviously greatly appreciated. So thank you for donating, and thank you for watching, everybody. Successful race so far. Yeah. So they're on the silver medals portion of this. Yes. And you know, some of these silver medals are pretty tricky to get when you're playing this game, you know, and you're drifting around like that. I mean, they're, they're really tricky to get when you're going at, like, human speeds, but when you're going at, like, fast speeds like Ox and, and Tolful are going right now. Yeah, it's... the hitboxes are surprisingly good, though. Like, they're definitely bigger than what the coin is. So, it's not terrible, but you definitely have got to practice it. And it's unfortunately pretty hard to practice this, because it's not like you can go... How you practice like individual levels is you can go to the tracks menu and then practice, but you can't practice silver coins that easily unless you just do a lot of runs. So that's one thing you can't just reload the silver coins uh, section. So you just have to do it in the campaign mode then. Yeah. Uh, I might be mistaken on that. I can't actually remember if you can like once you beat the campaign, go into a level and do it again with the silver coins. I might be wrong on that, but. Yeah, but like the coins on some of these levels are pretty unforgiving if you miss them. Like there's a lot of... You get to the third lap and you have like a coin on each side you still need to get. You have to get one, turn all the way around and get the other. So you definitely gotta be careful. You gotta be very, very conscious of exactly what coins you're missing. Like here he's missing a coin still and he's gotta hope that it's this one right here. Okay, it is. <laughs> That bonk there. The double oh, bonk. Yes. The tree bonk and the ice bonk. The bonk. Bonks in this game are absolutely brutal. Mostly you, in the plane. You lose all momentum, right? When you hit yep. when you hit a bonk, it's just it's top speed goes down to nothing. Yep, top speed goes to nothing. Uh, it takes a decent bit to accelerate back up. If you're in a plane, it takes forever. A, a bonk costs you about four seconds. It's absurd. 
because you fly all the way back, you completely stop, you land on the ground, depending on how high you are, and then you have to keep get all the way back up to speed. Ooh, a special prize. I was really excited for the special prize as a kid. And then after the first boss, I knew what it was going to be. Like, okay, this is dumb. I wanted something cool. Isn't it just like a hint, right? It's like you, like it's, you press um, the button to get boosts or whatever. No, it's uh, the, uh, what's it called? Whizpig amulet. There's one where, where I have oh I, it's it's the it's the elephant he says I have something special for you and he tells oh, you yeah, like something it's, really useless. Yeah, I'll tell you something. Sometimes like that genie actually helped me beat the game because I was definitely stuck for a very long time. I could not touch Wizpig. I was Diddy as a kid. I could not beat Wizpig, and then the genie's like, oh, let go of A on boost and you go faster. I'm like what? And then I get that first greed boost. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and I then could, I I've, I've never beaten Wizpig. That's a sad fact. I owned this game as a kid and like, he would always get tough. to Wizpig and he like, so never tough. beat him. And then the second Wizpig was really tough too. And now it's like, it's a joke. I'll tell you who's hard though, that genie. I've never lost, when I started speedrunning, I've never lost a race. I've never lost to whiz pig but that freaking genie <laughs> <laughs> i lost a run very recently to losing the plane race against him because <laughs> i bonked like three times and i just completely fall down it was in a horrible spot i had to loop all the way out and around just to get back up it was awful and there goes two minutes that that happens <laughs> all right so ox and tofu in the Trophy race. Oh. And they're both on the same level right now as well. So it looks like Ox is starting to make up some time. Still, you know, still a good chunk behind. Hopeful, but. It looks like Stacy's ahead of Shadow, but I don't think that's right. They must have done a different level order. And there, like you saw Stacy get hit. That's the little bit of RNG that's involved in these races. Sometimes the enemies can just be horrible and drop items right along the fastest path that you were going to go. You definitely notice that in the later ones, there's the spike balls like everywhere. And they can get pretty annoying sometimes. And there's the oil slicks and stuff like that. If you have a good enough reaction speed though, you can avoid them. It's very tough. So yeah, those those AI can still drop those random drop items that could kind of mess up your path if you're not being careful. It looks like Stacy actually did come back. I didn't even notice. So now Stacy's in third. All right, so we've got an update here. Stacy is in third place. Shadow is in fourth. First place is Tofu and second place is Ox. We're getting from the chat that Tofu is about 52 seconds ahead, roughly. Yep. And again, that still, it's still anybody's race. Anything can happen. They easily lose 52 seconds. I mean, how frequent is it to miss silver coins in some of these sections? Um, I think at the level of play everyone's at, and these top four, I think it's very unlikely that they'll actually just miss a coin. I have seen it happen. I've seen it happen to Tofu not even that long ago, but it's very unlikely. Like, they've just done it so many times, they know, and they have it in their head exactly which ones they get. Most of them have a specific order that they always get the coins in, so they just know that they have them and know which ones they need to get. But it, it can't happen. Like, all it takes is that happening once. And depending on the course, that goes a minute to two minutes. We've got a donation here, a five dollar donation from Austin, and it says, "Thanks for hosting the race, Pi and C Fox." Well, thank you for donating us, and I appreciate that, yeah. and for tuning in. So that brings a total to thirty-two dollars and two cents.
apparently Stacy just gained 20 seconds over his best run. And that split. Nice. So it looks like Ox missed a boost there and grabbed a mi uh, missile instead. You know, not a huge time loss, but something, something yeah, small. Yeah, that's something very small. It's not a huge deal, but... <laughs> Another reason I don't like Frosty Village, you can kind of notice it. It doesn't happen very often, but you can hit this first boost on the top, top of the hill. And just, I don't know if it's RNG or just like very specific angles, you can hit that second bump and completely nosedive and it just completely stops you. <laughs> it's very annoying. That's hard to avoid. So just a bunch of little things is like the physics of hitting jumps in this game is very weird. Alright, it looks like Tofel's doing the hovercraft race with yep. Genie. That snaking. That snaking looks so cool, by the way, in the water. Yeah. Not gonna lie. You're just tilting back and forth. I think I've been snaking way too much now that I look at this video. <laughs> I haven't seen them actually do this in a while. <laughs> Yeah, they're, it's so tight, you know what I mean? They're yeah, not really it's a moving lot horizontally too much. Yeah. It's funny just watching them play. Like, uh, when Tofel, I know Tofel's doing this at AGDQ, and it's, if you can, I would donate for a hand cam. It's pretty entertaining watching the inputs that these guys do. Especially Ox. Ox is really fun to watch hand cam, because he actually plays the game. I don't know of anybody else who does this, but... He uses his second hand, and he, like, his hand's above the joystick. He uses his uh, thumb, index, and pointer finger, like, on top of the joystick, moving it around to use it. Almost like a joystick. It's really interesting. And you'll see Tofu lap the genie again. I can never lap this genie. He's so fast. Yeah, Sherbert is my favorite. I love watching them do Sherbert. Then I'll just re a quick reminder, uh, if you'd like to win a free Steam game, we've got a little Twitter contest going right now. I'll post it in the chat. Um, all you have to do is retweet this status you'll be automatically entered to win a free Steam game. It's that easy. You have a Twitter account, you retweet... <coughs> Whoa, Steve. Bless you. Have a Twitter account, and you just retweet. It's that simple. So make sure to retweet this, guys. Spread the love, spread the word. Hello, bye-bye for now. And be sure to follow everybody on their Twitch accounts as well. You'll see on the actual channel here that they're... That has their name with a medal next to it. That is their Twitch account. Um, so if my mods could post all four, that would be awesome. Make sure you follow all four of these racers. They're all doing a great job today, taking time out of their day to do this race, and uh, they've been working hard on their speed games. So give all four a follow. Show them the love. It's always fun to see. Um, I recently learned that you're supposed to keep um, snaking even during boosts. And you'll see them, especially in World Bay, I think is the most noticeable. When they use a boost, they absolutely fly while drifting. And then there's also very subtle things like, for whatever reason, if you press B, like you just tap B, 
if you hit a boost in the hovercraft, it makes you go faster, apparently. Like, the boost is more... Uh, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> it's just, it's a bigger boost. With all these very small, weird tricks. So now you're seeing TOEFL do what I was talking about for the, this key. He goes straight for it and then restarts because it takes too long to get back on the water. On the water. Silvercrafts, man, I tell ya. I know TOEFL had the world record for this, la this course that he's on right now recently. I don't remember if he still has it or not though. Like, this is another one of those courses that's really fun to watch. <laughs> Done pretty well. <laughs> and uh, that unlucky oil slick. Nothing you can do about that. So, Ox was in Tulfar almost in the exact same spot, but Ox is just two laps behind. So he's about approximately 50 Let's seconds see. behind. Or 40, is um, it? Yeah, oh. you can say about that. I think about 54, 55. Which is pretty much how far he's been behind uh, since the beginning of Snow, so he's definitely keeping up now. It's just that unfortunate Hot Top Volcano incident at the beginning. That's another thing, like, once the level that Topo and Ox play at, it's very hard to catch up on one another unless they make a significant mistake. You see how like Tofu rides the boost all the way to the whale because he's um, snaking while using the boost. Full racing the octopus. Yep. Always loved running into the octopus. He oh always make God. like this gurgly sound when he ran into it. Like, oh! Screams Child alcohol moves. every time he drops something. <laughs> we'll see if uh, Ox can get the, the cool sound going. Ox is very good at this race. I know Tofol is always amazed at how fast Ox does this race. The first time, I'm pretty sure it's the... I think it's easy to lap him. The second time around, I think Ox manages to do it, or get very close, which is just nuts for the second one, because he does go very fast. But I, I can't stand this guy. I hate racing him. He always gets me. It's hard to pass him. 
Because he's so huge, and the way he drops his objects, he like swings them around him and then drops them. One of the things yeah. you'll notice too is with this one, with the first two boss battles, there wasn't really like a weren't going in a circle. There wasn't laps. It was just get to the top or get to the bottom. Yeah. This one you're actually lapping him. The same with the dragon one too. I'm not sure why um, they decided to do that. I think it's because well they decided to make them drop objects. I guess they thought it'd be harder to have them dropping objects, and if you go fast enough around the laps, you can actually see the objects that they dropped on the previous lap, and they stay there for a little bit, and then despawn. Because I guess they wanted to up the difficulty, and so by adding obstacles that you have to dodge, and actually racing someone, it makes it harder. Yep, so here's the other one. It's not incredibly luck-based. But it is hard to control the hovercraft. You see, like if you stay too close, the next balloon won't spawn. And then you, can, but you can just use the map, point in the general direction, and fire a homing ammo. So it's just just picking up it, do a little mini circle here, and then keep firing away. Yeah, I just keep camping. It is hard to like. You'll see, I'm like, because you just slide up the hovercraft. It's not like the car where you can go back and forth very quickly. Oh, Diddy Kong is not in. Oh, Diddy Kong, Diddy Kong is with the dodges. Not nice. <laughs> he is not having very good luck right now. Might be an opportunity for a uh, ox to catch up. Everyone has their own slightly different strats. Like, ox doesn't like going back and forth right away, so he'll like go quickly across and collect balloons along the way and keep firing along the way, and then he'll get to the spot and just start spinning around. He doesn't even use the map. What a pro! He's Blind actually firing. going through this level pretty quickly right now. Yeah. Making up a few seconds. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, that was pretty good. Wow. Yeah. Ox has been having some really great mini games. And I think at this point, there's not much luck involved with the mini games left, so. He had. A very, very good series of mini games. Alright, I've got a $4.98 donation from Jesse. So that's gonna even out the money to a cool $36, it looks like. Oh no, I'm bad at $37. Yeah. Oh man. That man. Someone, someone has OCD. Can stand that O2 there. <laughs> Someone should go ahead and donate just twenty dollars and just, one cent. Just donate that one cent, yeah, to get that extra, get those people donating. Yeah. Yeah, thirty-nine seconds. It looks like he caught up a good uh, sixteen seconds about in that mini game. Really slowly, Ox was slowly creeping in on on Tofu. This is not over by any means. No. And you'll see the battle for third place is definitely not over as well. Ah, uh, he's only see, yeah. He's about thirty seconds, maybe thirty-five seconds behind. Yeah, maybe I'd a little bit more. Good.